so today we'll discuss adobe, uh, sap adobe forms what is adobe form adobe form is a print layout it's a print okay pdf based print layout okay so it is somewhat advanced than our existing sap scripts and uh, smart forms okay there are certain additional advanced features available in adobe forms for us where we cannot achieve those features in uh, smart forms okay the first one is adobe forms are interactive interactive means after generating the pdf file output uh, you can edit it you can enter the data okay that is the advantage of adobe form adobe form is interactive form okay but if you generate a smart form output you cannot edit it you cannot enter any data in it once you generated the output right but here in terms of adobe forms when you develop a interactive form you can enter the data even after generating the form okay so that is that option is available in adobe forms also so there is certain limitations for smart forms where that is software dependent and uh, they may not work on they, they may work only on specific printer types we need to pr to print a uh, smart form output there might be some issues compatibility issues with different different printer configurations but when it comes to adobe forms there is no such issue there is no software dependent even it, it's good these adobe forms are going to work on any operating system there is no dependency uh, operating system dependency and there is no issue of uh, printer compatibility when you are printing the adobe form output okay also designing the layout itself very simple designing the layout itself very simple in the adobe forms okay and in, in addition to like in smart forms we can uh, write uh, program lines to achieve like to retrieve any required data in the form level okay here also in adobe forms also we can write the programs source code but not in the form itself we have two sections here one is interface and another one is form in interface we used to define all function module importing exporting kind of things right F function module interface form interface the form interface we are going to define in the interface level and uh, the form designing we are going to handle in the form we have two objects here when you are creating a adobe form you need to create two objects one is interface and another one is form okay clear yes, so when you generate the smart form output right it's not going to generate a pdf output initially okay we need to manually convert it to pdf output the, we need to convert the smart form output as pdf document okay but here in adobe forms you don't need to convert it we are going to generate directly the pdf output okay so here we can use uh, scripts also scripting language like to enable or disable any form elements we can use scripting uh, uh, javascript or form calci okay we can use this scripting to uh, for example if you want to enable or disable any content in the form depends on any condition when you when you go to smart forms what is the option we have to enable or disable any uh, data depends on the requirement or depends on the condition <coughs> what is the option in smart form if you want to disable any data dynamically or if you want to display a logo or uh, any address window or anything depends on uh, some condition we have conditions right we have conditions right we have conditions tab where we can provide a condition to make it visible or uh, disable or to display logos depends on the company code to display 
data depends on the different different conditions we can use conditions right you can find yes, it in sir. window level yes, sir. you can add the condition so that the data will be displayed dynamically depends on the condition here in adobe forms we can use javascript or form calc to achieve those conditions there are different options too so here we can also implement scripting javascript or form calc script okay so what is the transaction code for adobe forms sfp is the transaction code okay here what here uh, what are the objects we have interface and uh, form form so what do we do in interface interface is like your adobe uh, smart forms uh, uh, form interface here where you define importing exporting tables etc and also you can define global declarations in interface level and you need to map those importing exporting and global declarations to form okay so here we handle business logic or form interface in interface level and the form designing in form okay clear yes, sir. so to work with adobe forms we need a mandatory software we need a mandatory software that is adobe live cycle designer we need this mandatory software to be installed in your system or in your our remote server or anywhere okay if you want to access the adobe forms right this is the important prerequisite to start working on adobe forms okay so in future in your projects or in your assignments someone ask you to work on the adobe forms what you need to check first whether this adobe life cycle designer software is installed in your system or not okay so first you need, you need to get this software to start working on adobe forms okay now let's go uh, go uh, go to the server so what is the t code for adobe forms sfp sfp is the transaction code here if you observe we have two different sections one is form and one is interface first we need to create the interface just create one demo interface create the interface provide the description save it so i'll select a package save means enhancement save it in a transport request okay if you observe this is it not familiar for you import export exceptions global data is it not familiar for you It is like just like function module interface, right? Also, yes. we observed this in smart forms, yes. right? Import, export, exceptions, global data. Global data means which we define here in the interface level. Import. What is import? Inputs. Import is to provide the data from the driver program, just like uh, smart form, right? We define the importing parameters and we pass. Uh, the dynamic data from a driver program or calling program okay just like smart forms we can call adobe form in a 
driver program okay and wherever where, what is the another uh, what is the other transaction code we configure the adobe forms for example uh, for uh, standard transaction code SO10. SO10 is for standard text. I'm asking about smart form or form print layout configurations for standard transaction codes. NAC. Yeah, NAC. Okay. In NAC transaction code, we can configure these print layouts for standard uh, transactions. Okay. Clear. Is everyone clear on that? Yeah. Okay. So here in code initialization, you can write your source code. Okay. You can write your source code. But usually, we prefer to write all the business logic inside the driver program or calling program. Okay. If it is required, we can also write code here in code initialization section and form routines also. You can write your source code. Clear? In global data, you can define your own internal table or work area or variable like structures. And you can use it in the form. Okay? By populating data in this code initialization. Okay? Clear? The output parameters. We have to add that uh, global declaration to populate the code. Clear? Is everyone clear on that? So let's create a sample importing parameter here. For example, <coughs> mm, im underscore uh, what can we use? Some data, Mara data. Or some customer name. We'll, we'll copy some customer name and print the customer details. Okay, so if you need to define a internal table like structure, what you need to do? You need to define it with uh, using a table type. Okay, so it is optional. If you select it optional, it will be optional field, just like function module. Okay, now I have defined one importing parameter. Save it and activate the form interface. I am not writing any code. In this uh, first sample form going forward we will see how to write a back code and uh, using global declarations now my interface is active go back create the form so observe the naming convention for interfaces I am using INTF form 1 okay for form I am creating a form for this interface I am creating a form for this interface form underscore some name okay please follow this naming conventions okay creating the form you have what you have to provide here interface, interface by interface what you have already created save it So here we'll just see very basic steps how to create a form okay so don't confuse it is very simple if you know function module smart forms it is very familiar for that okay I'm not going to use any high level terminology here
Yeah. Now, if you observe here, now observe this, this interface section, what you can find here? Yeah. Fields uh, along the importing parameter what we defined in the field level also some system variables yes, SFP SY this contains the system fields this contains system date system time current username and sub RC okay also if you define any global declarations you can see here let's go to interface and uh, define some global declarations go to SFP Go to interface, change it, go to global data, create one new variable, for example, im underscore uh, vbak type vbak, okay, if you want any default value, you can define if it is a variable, but it is not a variable, right? it is not importing parameter use some proper naming convention okay it will work anyway but we'll use some proper naming conventions since it's a global declarations we'll use like this uh, um, global structure okay gs means global structure so this is output we are using kna1 data as input and we are returning uh, output data into gs underscore vbak that's why i am defining here input parameter and output parameter now write your just it's a sample, just write your code this kna1 data is coming from the driver program okay by using the driver program input we are writing some code is here okay select star from since i have used uh, vbak right I have used the complete table reference VBAK in global declarations, right? Select star from VBAK into No, it's not it's a single record we, So go to global declarations we, we are not using a table type here observe Right? We are using table direct table reference so, so yes, it contains record. all the fields of the VBAK table for single record. This code is optional. I just wanted to introduce how we can write uh, coding in uh, code initialization. Customer number, whatever I am passing from the driver program, I am selecting some additional data. Okay, let's check this. Check. Sir, select single and put yeah, sir. Yeah, you select single. Check. So, we are using this importing parameter as input. Anyway, this is optional. Okay, the, this importing parameter is optional. You, you can use it or you may not use it. If you don't need, you can delete it. And you can write your own condition here. Okay? Clear? Just like this. If you don't, if you are, if you are, if you are not passing any inputs from the program, you can write like this. And there is no where condition for this. Let's assume, okay? Clear? We have only output parameter. Okay, right. But what is mandatory for select single? Primary key field. Yeah. Primary key. In where condition? 
right? Yes, sir. Check. It is working. Activate it. F3. Now go back to the farm and just refresh this. In global data, my global structure also reflected, right? Yes, sir. When, when I refresh it. Now, so all the objects are available in interface level. What we need, this is the form. This is the form and this is the interface. So we need to map interface parameters with the form. Okay. So we need to map. How can you map? Just like this. Just select the importing parameter and drag. Right? Just drag it and drop here. Okay? Yes, and So if you observe here, how many fields we have in this importing parameter, a lot of fields, right? Are we really going to use all these fields in the form to display uh, this data in the form? No, sir. No, no, right? sir. We, we, we may display hardly 10 or 15 fields or maybe one or two fields, depends on the requirement. But anyway, we should not uh, take the complete table reference in the importing parameter. We should take only required fields in the importing parameter with a structure, right? That is recommended. But anyway, for example, I have taken this uh, complete table structure. Even though if you take the structure, right, with, with required fields, we may not display all the fields of the structure so that we can set uh, only required fields active and uh, optional fields are inactive. How can you set that? Uh, I need to show only customer number country, name, that's it, and city, so that I can make this as active and uh, remaining as inactive like this. Right click on it, deactivate. Now it is deactivated, right? You can see this uh, X mark, inactive is X. You can set uh, unnecessary fields to inactive, <clears throat> okay? So that you can minimize the data transfer between uh, form and uh, interface. So that we can avoid unnecessary fields which we are not using in the form, right? Right click and deactivate so that those, those unnecessary fields will be deactivated, okay? Clear? So I have mapped the importing parameter to display the global declarations data which this data is coming from the form, sorry interface. This uh, global declaration data is being populated from the interface. But this one, importing parameter data, this is coming from the driver program. Okay. Now, global declarations also copy, drag and drop here into this folder. Right? 
So when we use importing parameter and when we use this global declaration, if you need to pass the data from driver program, the business functionality we are going to handle in driver program and just pass the data. So the, in that case, we use uh, importing parameters. And if you want to write any additional logic in the interface level, in the form interface level, we use uh, this global declarations. Okay. In this example, I am passing customer data, KNA1 data from the driver program and uh, I am selecting sales data, sales order header data in the interface level. Okay. Yeah, now if you want any system variables, you can also map this system fields. Okay, just like this. For global declarations also, you can set uh, unnecessary fields to deactivate, deactive. Okay, clear? Yes, sir. Now, let's go to layout. To access this layout, so till now, till till this step, uh, you can access, you can do even without uh, Adobe Lifecycle Designer software. Okay, you can do these steps uh, even without Adobe Lifecycle Designer staff, so, uh, software. But to access this layout, right, Adobe Lifecycle Designer software is mandatory. Otherwise, you cannot open the layout. So this is the layout. Clear? This is the layout. Here we have page 1, automatically created page 1. Here we don't have the concept of windows. We have uh, windows, right, in smart forms. Here we don't have that yes, concept. Sir. Okay. Here we have the concept of subforms. Here we have the concept of subforms so that we can group all the similar data in the one subform. Okay, it is somewhat similar to window. It is not a window, but it is the concept is somewhat similar to window. Okay, so if you observe here in this hierarchy, go to data view, click on data view here. If you go to data data view, what can you find here? Form, form and interface. Our, our, it is form only. So whatever the importing parameters are global declarations we mapped to the form, you can see here, right? Whatever the importing parameters are global declaration system variables which we map to the form, we can see here, right? So that by using this data, we can design this form. Okay, so if you go to see, this is little somewhat uh, confusing like uh, we have different different tools here, okay, you have to practice to get familiar with these tools. So if you go to this library, right? If you go to this library, right? What you can find? Different different elements <coughs> like checkbox, circle, drop down. Do we have all these options in Adobe? Sorry, smart forms? No, right? Um, no, sir. No, sir. We have a lot of options here, designing options. We have list box, numeric field, print button. We have a button. We have a radio button, rectangle, different elements here, text element, okay, to accept the input, so that we have lot of elements here, clear? By using this, we can design our form, okay? And come back to the layout, what you can find here in the layout, one is a design view and another one is master page, right? So what is design view and what is master page? So in master page, 
what you can find see the the layout is same in both pages in design view and both master pages you can now uh, add your elements and add your data add your text but what is master page we can add pages in uh, uh, library long so master page is like so if you observe any uh, letter pad if you observe any letter pad the header and footer is common right for all the pages yes, even sir. if you print uh, two three pages the logo header and footer is common right only yes, the body content is changing right so whatever the common data for all the pages so whatever you need to print uh, common for all the pages right that data you are going to keep in master page master page means it is a uh, whatever the data that we need to print in all the pages in the same position in the same format we need to we are going to keep that in master page okay clear it's like global whatever the whatever the data you design here right in the master page that is common for the all the pages okay clear so just like main window it, it will expand ah, sir we need to insert pages so it's not kind of main window but if you need to if you need to have any if you need to have any common format or common data in all the pages in all the different pages right you are going to have this uh, you are going to keep that data in master page so that it will print in all the pages here in design view it is to design individual page design okay that uh, the design view the design we used to design individual page design okay clear this is individual page layout so what is that is specific to that particular page only if you go to the second page it won't appear this is specific to only this page page 1 and what is master page master page contains the design which is common for all the pages all the pages okay yes, so here we design our data for example in master page let's try to upload one graphic image drag and drop drag and drop the image and you can select it from the desktop you don't need to upload it in uh, sc78 please remember it is additional advantage there is no additional step here you don't need to upload it to upload it into sc78 and you don't need to use it here you can directly upload your logo from your desktop and you can adjust this as per your requirement okay if you if you go to design view i added it in the master page right i added it in the master page right but even if you go to design view you can see this but you cannot change this here you cannot change this here why because this this element is from the master page this is common for all the pages for example go to here and create one more page insert uh, so this this master page if you click on new page go to new page page 1 page 2 this image is common right in all the pages go to design view of page 1 go to design view of page 1 and i'll add a separate uh, graphic here it's it's in the page 1 please observe it's in the page 1 double click on it click on okay so to upload it what you need to do double click on it click on okay and uh, do you have any other logo
yeah in pictures we have different logo this i am doing in design view please observe now go to page 2 is it available in page 2 no sir no sir so this is specific space specific design we do in uh, design view okay clear yes sir So it is only BMP format or any JPG format is there? JPG also, also you can upload. Okay. JPG also you can upload from the that that uh, image should be in your uh, system. Okay, in your server. Like in this case, that should be in our remote server system. You can directly upload here. Okay. Now, go to data view. Is, is everyone clear on master page and design view? So whatever the data that is common for all the pages, right? You have to keep that in uh, master page. Master page. The data which is specific to that current page, you need to design it in design view by selecting your page, current page. Page 1, page 2, page 3 like that. Okay. Now I am in design view. Now now I want to have now I want to add some heading text, header text. Select this text, drag and drop. I am selecting the text element. Okay. So here you can type your free text, whatever the text you want, you can type here by adjusting the size. Here if you observe, you can select your uh, font, Arial, Arial black, whatever the font you want and also you can select your size. In smart forms, we, we, do we have the, all these options like this easy navigations? No, no right? No, Demo Adobe form. So you can you can increase the size or decrease the size, and you can make it bold using bold option, and you can have underline using this. We can adjust this element. Please observe. This is not a dynamic text. This is a static. Okay. Now go to uh, go to master page, and in master page, I'll add date here. I'll add date here for every page. I I would like to print. Uh, date on the top for every page system date when the form is printed okay how can you add that there are multiple ways of adding this the very simple way is go to your system, system. fields just drag and drop just drag and drop here and adjust this okay So here, so this is the field, right? I've added here. Go to the field properties here in uh, object. This is the field data. What is the type of this field? Date and time field, right? Yes. Appearance. Appearance is sunken box. You can also change the appearance. Like solid box. What is solid box? It is the solid box. Underlined. It will print with the underline. None. We don't have anything. No, no frame here. Okay. We have sunken box. It will display a box kind of value uh, design. Okay. 
for now i am selecting none <coughs> so i've added the data element i've added the data element but where, from where the data should be populated from these these uh, values right importing global declarations are date right for that we need to use a binding double click on this go to binding go to binding section we need to bind uh, this element with one of these fields <coughs> okay with one of these fields clear here you can see that binding option here that is the binding record sfpsy dot date it is automatically bind it is automatically bind this field to this element why because i drag and drop here right that's why it is automatically binding okay go to library and i'll add one more at the end also i'll add date i'm using element from the library i'm not dragging and wrap okay i'm creating a element yeah text field provide the name of field label date for example so date so date let's say it is a sales order created date where you can find sales order created date in vba k right that should be here somewhere in the global declarations you can you can simply drag and drop here you can simply drag and drop drag and drop this year date here it will automatically bind the value but i uh, but i would like to show how you can manually bind it double click on this double click on this you can see you go to hierarchy you can see the names you can change the names if you want okay like this go to field so this is what 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 type of field it is text field text field it contains a label this is label and this is actual value but is it is it automatically going to display the value no we have to bind it we have to since it's a dynamic value if it is a static value like this if it is a static value like this it will automatically display you don't need to do anything if it is a static text like this but i want to display some dynamic value here for that you need to bind it double click on it you can see this binding here go to binding this one select this none currently there is no binding so it won't display any data here you need to bind a specific field here one of the fields from this uh, importing global declarations or system variables select this option select this option this is your form and these are your structures and go to gs underscore vbak structure and select erdat erdat okay so what it is asking binding properties do you want to apply the properties of the data dictionary field or you want your own properties update all related properties means it will automatically update erdat data element related properties okay the type what data type and everything continue <coughs> now what is it showing here is bind right the binding is completed if you observe this date pattern what is the date pattern it is available year month date system year month date hy with hyphen <coughs> right but i don't want this date pattern i want a different date pattern go to date pattern click on this and change change to your required date pattern okay clear is it clear for everyone
you can also change your uh, relevant date patterns okay clear yes, now go to design view <coughs> Now I want to print some data, right? For example, I want to print a customer name. Go to library. So what is my requirement? I want to group all customer related data in one section and sales order related data in another section for that what can i use subform drag and drop subform in your first page it is your subform okay in this subform i'll create required elements so that when i drag and drop this subform right when i drag this subform right all the elements inside the subform also move move accordingly okay go to this subform in hierarchy this is subform right right click on this and you can create the elements inside this uh, just create one more element so for customer data i'll create elements for text field i need to display dynamically right the customer data drag and drop on text field into subform so name this as a customer and we need to bind the value right go to click on this so i'll provide some name for the element customer binding is none select the binding from importing parameter right kna1 select customer number update all the standard properties if you want to change this uh, format you can change it or you can expand or change the width the length everything okay format is plain text only So these are, if it is interactive form, if it is interactive form, you can make it uh, mandatory, required, optional, okay, using this option in value, okay, clear, we have, we have also patterns here, we have default value here, like uh, 100 is the default value, it will automatically display 100, okay, but in binding, we actually bind the value right now i need customer name now i will now see if customer i manually bind it for customer name i'll just drag and drop it so so that we can cover both uh, do i need to bind now do i need to bind this field no sir no because, uh, double click on this go to binding Your binding is automatically assigned even if you observe this Field label is also automatically assigned. Okay. Name one. If you want, you can change it. Yes, sir. Customer name or something. Okay. And go to city. It is very simple, right? You can also, you, so, and you can also bind it manually. And you know how to do it. Okay. Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can also place it here side by side okay country you can place it here in which element I am creating all this 
in a sub form okay now now if i move this sub form all the elements inside this sub form also move accordingly okay in general we create uh, hundreds of elements in the adobe form right it is very difficult to ad adjust the layout if you, if you create all these elements individually you need to adjust each element you need to move each element for example control uh, i'm copying cut here and pasting outside of the sub form i'm pasting it outside of the sub form okay now my requirement is i need to move this customer details little downwards what i need to do i need to move each element individually right understand yes sir but you kept all these things in the sub form it will automatically move according to your sub form position okay clear so i group all the customer yes. details in one sub form and i'll group uh, uh, sales order details in another sub form anyway this is not mandatory to use sub form but it is recommended if you have more elements in the adobe form okay go to library select one more sub form and drag and drop here in the design view now i want to place uh, sales order related data here okay for example i'll use some heading here on separate heading drag and drop it is only static text okay sales order bold with underline okay you can adjust this and inside this i'll place my sales order data for example go to here and i'll select uh, sales order number and i'm uh, selecting control control and select the remaining okay wait first let's me let me let me set here go to uh, place it here place the sales order number for example if you don't if you, if you need all the data if you need all the data of this sales order global structure just select it and place it here right it will automatically place all the data here okay select the structure and drag and drop okay clear if you need only individual fields yes, keep it like this it will automatically bind you don't need to worry about the binding some data whatever you want okay that's it so now save it check it for errors there are some errors okay since we are using lot of fields in the since we are selecting all the table data there are hundreds of fields sir if you observe form calc form calc javascript this form calc and javascript we can apply on this for example depends on some condition i want to make it invisible i don't want to see the sales order number and uh, created on date 
depends on some condition. So I can apply form calcier JavaScript to make those dynamic changes. If you want to enable, disable any data or if you want to display logo depends on the company code, depends on the requirement, you can use this form calcier JavaScript. Okay. Now activate the form. So your interface and form both should be active. Okay. How can you call Adobe form, uh, Adobe form in your driver program? It will generate a function module. It will generate a function module. This is the function module. You can call this function module in your uh, driver program. Okay. It is very similar. How do how you call smart form? This is also same. Okay. Yes, but sometimes, right, we used to face uh, issues with the invalid HTTP connection ADS. There is some connection issue. We designed the form, but we are not able to activate it. There is some connection issue, system configuration issue is there. Okay, looks like it is working in the print environment. Sorry, not print. we should select print preview. We will see whether it is working or not. Print preview. Uh, Call contained errors, ADS errors. ADS, ADS means there is some connection error in the system. Okay. I don't think we can call it. Even I'm not able to activate it. We had to first we have to fix that uh, ADS connection issue, invalid HTTP connection issue. So that I'll fix it and uh, we can test it. Till now, is everyone clear on that? How we design the Adobe form? Calling your yes. Adobe form is very similar. Just go to your form, uh, find the function module, and use SSF function module and call the function module name in your uh, driver program. That's it. And pass your importing parameter. Okay? Same as in smart form. Yeah, sir. same as smart form. Instead of uh, smart form name, you have to pass uh, Adobe form name. Okay? Is everyone clear on the options we discussed till now on Adobe Forms? Only thing is we are not able to test it. We are not able to generate the form because of there is some connection issue. Okay. I will try to fix it. And then, then, okay. Yeah, please go through the video if you want. Uh, again, like if you, if you want to follow the navigations.